Good morning. Ok, on verra ça tantôt. It's that time of year again. Preserving time. I went to the grocery store and saw these huge bags of uh, corn. So I decided to buy some because we love corn. Corn is just so great and I'm not yet at the stage. I, I've yet to have a, a corn a cob grow in my yard. So last year I did cook all my corns and I um, froze them. But this year I bought so many blueberries. I don't know if I showed you guys. I'm going to put a little, a little clip of how many blueberries I have. But my kids love um, blueberries either like in recipes or just like that. Frozen blueberries is a, a common snack here. So half my, my freezer is filled with blueberries. So yeah, I decided to go with canning because uh, canning is a lot more sustainable for us. And uh, my canner is not used today. So it's a good, a good reason. I did the can yesterday a few salsas. I bought um, veggies from the farmer's market. And uh, I did diced tom tomatoes. And on top of half my fridge, my freezer, I did can a few blueberries. Uh, technically, it's a recipe for uh, pie fillings, but uh, I think we're. Uh, if I do pies, I'll use it. But I think we're going to use it as jam, if not. So right now I'm peeling a few corns. I never canned corn before, so uh, I don't know how many corns I need to fill a few jars. I bought this peeler. from Amazon. Um, I heard that it wastes a lot less corn than uh, with a knife and I used to love to just peel the corns with my thumbs but my wrists are way too weak for that now. So I'm going to cook these for five minutes to just blanch them and then uh, process them in my pressure canner for 55 minutes. While we're at it, we are going to eat some corn for lunch. So I just started my uh, oven. My favorite way to uh, cook corn no. is to put it right like this in the oven at 350 for half an hour maybe. And after that, it's just like so juicy. It's very, very good.
so I didn't think this would be a whole day thing. Turns out it was. I well, it's it's already at first a uh, pretty long canning time. It's, al it's almost an hour, just uh, just canning. So uh, you can think of at least an hour and a half to uh, to sterilize and and cool down and everything. So I've had so far one batch done. So I have seven 500 millimeters, um, milli liters, not meters, uh, done. I'm doing another batch right now, but I think I'm good for at least two, maybe three batches. So this is, it's now almost five o'clock. We need to eat. Uh, it didn't take me all that time. To be honest, no, parce qu'on va super bientôt. Mets-les dans le lavabo, s'il te plaît. Um, oh. I had actually to go to Canadian Tire and get some more jars because uh, I do have so many big ones, one liter ones, but uh, I was out of small ones. I use them for my salsas, my, some of my jams uh, for my corn. For my tomatoes so uh, I really use them a lot I could have uh, canned these in one liter ones but uh, I don't think that's I'm going to use that much at once so that's why I, I figured it was worth it to go in town and go get these jars I got 24 of them so I have uh, because I I will need some for tomatoes because I am really, really <laughs> far from having enough canned tomatoes. So that's going to be done. Uh, so I'm going to cold... I don't know how you say it in English, but uh, it's basically you start the canning process with everything cold uh, because right now everything's cold. I finished cooking everything uh, before I left. And now my water and my um, canner and my, my corn are all cold. So I'm starting everything cold. I don't know if it's by the book, so don't follow me. <laughs> Do your own research, but I've, I'm fine with that. And as far as my little tool goes, this, at first I wasn't sure. Um, it took one or two cubs to get used to it but uh, it turns out it's working really well and uh, I love it it's, it's pretty satisfying to do actually so I don't think you guys need to see all these cans all these jars to be filled to understand the process I hope that you enjoyed uh, following me canning a little bit of corn so uh, thanks for hanging out with me and see you next time bye